Hey guys, my name is Chitanesh Nuri and today we are going to review the Hyper ROM version 4 for the Galaxy S3 and ND300. So first of all, when you boot into it, uh, the first thing you see is there is a notification that the super user binary needs to be updated. So that's not a problem because I made a vi video about it earlier and link to that video will be in the description and the link to this ROM will be in the description as well. So let's first get into settings. and. First of all you see that you have an option or the setting for real time CPU. Let's get into it and see what's that and you can also notice that the your uh, clock speed is uh, showing right in the status bar and so first let's enable it and I really don't see the difference so uh, it is en enabled by default I guess but you can re-enable it on our when you disable it, uh, it goes away. So that was that, and you have clock mods over here, and you have NS and HB. I really don't know what that is. So these are different mods you can add to your ROM. So if you enable this left corner recent task, it makes a virtual button on your top left corner that works as a recent apps key like this and let's get into settings and I have enabled the right corner lock screen it makes a virtual button on your right top corner which acts as a lock button so if I press the top right corner of my phone uh, the phone gets locked so that's it and you can also have the center area as the home key and you can also speed up the display you can change the dis display refresh rate you can speed up the display colors you can have dual speed display and let's get in toolbox it's the toolbox from samsung that you get and you also have the edge screen settings right over here so it has the sx edge and the sx edge plus settings right over here not the s71 and let's get out of it and you also have the auto restart settings right over here it uh, basically lets you choose that uh, which app is uh, allowed to be auto restarted so let's get out of it and you also have the led indicator right over here you have the greenify which i chose in the installer and you also have the viper for android which i chose again and you have the smart manager right over here and these are the smart manager features right over here and you can clean this and the ram use is dropped to 57 percent now and you also have the ot updater added new to this ram the ROM did not have the OT updater before this uh, version, the version 4. So, these are the common connection settings right over here. You have the sound, the display, and you have the torch light timeout settings right over here. You have the lock screen settings right over here. You can change your lock screen to these, and you also have the show information. And you can turn on the weather, pedometer, owner's information, help text, and all. You can also turn on the you can also turn on the dual clock and you have many unlocking effect right over here and let's see the e-team effect and it's basically a zoom in effect and you also have the charging effect which I personally don't use and let's get out of it and you also have the notification panel settings right over here floating messages uh, settings right over here you have the motion and gestures from the Samsung and you also have the account settings over here which you can add many accounts in right over here so you have the back and every reset you have the easy mode which turn your phone uh, phone into like easy mode you can have the contacts on the home screen you can have apps on the contact uh, apps on the home screen and all so you also have the blocking mode let's get into accessibilities let's go into vision and you can turn on the dark screen which is not turning off right now and you can also turn on the speak passwords you can set the magnification gestures so it is magnified now so let's turn it off because it sometimes bother with the usage so you also have the negative colors you have the colors adjustment you have the hover zoom which i don't thing works and you also have the hearing you can turn on the flash notifications which i really use and 
you can turn on the green fire right over here and you also have the language and input you have safety assistance you have battery settings right over here you have the power saving mode as well as well and you can uh, restrict the background data you can restrict performances right over here and you also have the grayscale mode over right over here and you also uh, it also comes with the ultra power saving mode let's turn it on So this is the ultra power saving mode that, and it is showing the estimated max standby time right over here and you can add applications right over here as well. You can add uh, more applications right over here using the UPS and manager I guess. And let's get out of it now. So let's get into settings. and. You also have the about device right over here. You can see that the Hyper ROM logo is right over here. You can see about the ROM. You can see that the ROM version is 4.0 and there's the additional information right over here. And you can see that the Android version is 4.4.4. Let's get out of it. Let's get into apps and let's get into phone app. Then this is the phone app and the change log. It showed that the logs and the favorite uh, background is changed i guess it is changed i really don't see the difference and you also have the contacts app right over here you have the messages app just like the s7 and you have the samsung browser this which is a little bit like the s7 i reckon it is a little bit different then but it is a little bit like it and you also have the gallery app right over here and you can change the view by album as well and you also have the camera app right over here so you can toggle to the video camera right from here and as you can see that the ad screen shows in the applications as well there's the ad screen uh, swipe right over here you can change to selfie camera from here you can have the flash settings right over here you can have shooting modes right over here there are many shooting modes you have the filters right over here you also have the settings right over here let's get out of it so you have the clock app right over here as well which is a little bit like the s7 and you also have the calendar app right over here which shows the holidays as well uh, i really like that it shows the holidays and you also have the calculator app right over here which is a little bit different you have already seen the settings and you have also have the watch record right over here and let's get into my files which is just like the s7 and you have the play store you have downloads right over here you have the green file which i chose in the installer you have the memo from the galaxy s7 and you have the upsm manager you have the s health i chose it from the installer as well and as you can see this is the ad screen right over here so these are the home screens right over here and let's get into the home screen settings right over here you can change the transition effects from here and you have three kinds of transition effects right over here none cast stack and 3d rotation and you also can disable the flipboard briefing right from right over here and you can also add the widgets right over here and you also have the wallpapers right over here and these are wallpapers from the galaxy s7 and as you can see that the rom is very fluent than the last version the version 3 was a bit laggy but the version 4 is snappier than before and i would definitely recommend it for the daily usage and i think that's it thanks for watching guys